Launching zipline 25 in 3, 2, 1, launch! Meet the Zip, a 12 kilogram fixed winged drone designed to solve one of the developing world's most pressing medical challenges. Developed by the Silicon Valley firm Zipline, the small dual engine aircraft have been delivering blood products in Rwanda since late 2016. Historically, blood delivery in the East African country has been plagued by long delays due to bad roads and the remoteness of many health facilities. The consequences are often tragic for patients in need of transfusions, including mothers giving birth, individuals undergoing surgery, and young victims of malaria. But Zipline's fleet of drones, which travel up to 100 kilometers per hour, can service more than half of Rwanda's district hospitals from a single launch site within 45 minutes of an order being placed. Thrust into the air by a system of bungee pulleys, the Zips follow a pre-programmed route using real-time kinetic satellite navigation. Zipline personnel, based at the company's Hilltop Distribution Center, follow their flight path closely on an iPad. After cruising above the Rwandan countryside, they descend in an oblong holding pattern before dropping their payload. The blood, packed into a shoebox-sized cardboard container, falls at a predetermined landing site, accurate within a five-meter diameter, with the aid of a waxed paper parachute. Kabgayi District Hospital, a 90-minute drive along a winding two-lane highway from the capital, Kigali, is one of five pilot facilities where the service is now in operation. In the past, hospital staff would make three scheduled trips per week to procure blood products in Kigali, plus additional trips in cases of emergency. Now, a Kagabai lab technician simply taps out an order on a smartphone and a drone will soon arrive with the needed product. Zipline, which was founded in 2011, is the first in the world to offer the regular delivery of emergency medical products. It's an idea that came together after its co-founders scoured the developing world to learn how drone-based logistics could potentially help save lives. In many countries, they found, reaching remote patients with treatment for health emergencies, including hemorrhaging after childbirth, a leading cause of maternal death, was cost prohibitive or logistically impossible. In Rwanda, a country known for its famed A Thousand Hills, Zipline found an ideal spot to test its vision. With 12 million people in an area the size of Maryland, Rwanda is highly compact, which offered the possibility of reaching roughly half the population from a single launch site. Demand for improved logistics was also high. Many of Rwanda's hospitals can take hours to reach along rutted dirt roads by car or motorbike. Emergency procurements of blood would often not arrive in time. Rwanda's health sector, like most in Africa, faces many challenges aside from logistics, and some critics say that money spent on Zipline's high-tech gizmos could be put to better use elsewhere, on ambulances to transport patients that cannot be flown by drones, or health workers, particularly doctors, that are chronically in short supply. In the long run, though, Zipline's founders say their technology will drive cost savings by enabling a far more agile supply chain in which fewer items must be kept at last mile facilities, minimizing waste and more effectively combating stockouts. This is true of blood as well as other products in the company's pipeline, including drugs to treat HIV, tuberculosis and malaria, rabies vaccines, family planning items, and diagnostic tests. Ultimately, Zipline plans to expand beyond Rwanda, both to other countries in Africa and potentially the more developed world, including the United States.